Uh, I don't think we've seen a Protoss lose yet, except for the PvP, obviously. Other than that, there hasn't been a single Protoss loss. That's right, man. Protoss I don't fighting. think there's been a single Protoss turn fighting. win, either. Yeah, there hasn't been a single turn win. Protoss fighting. Protoss fighting! And there is the lovely Coach January. Kim Gaul, so beautiful. <laughs> Didn't some like creep make a sign saying that and go to like the studio and kept whoa, stalking? Whoa, 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 Manor, Manor! I actually have that sign <laughs> on my uh, my computer somewhere. Hold on, let me let me see if I can bring it up for the uh, the stream viewers. I think I have a modified actually, version of it. I though. actually wasn't 100% sure about that, so if I'm right, that's cool. You're correct. You're correct. I believe it was uh, the crazy Daniel guy, that fan. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Wait, where's my thing? Where'd it go? Grr, 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 overlays. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh man, you should check out my stream. <laughs> um, I have a shoot version. Too lazy, man. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, uh, the first match is going to be Great versus Juni. Uh, I believe that's a ZVZ unless somebody switch races. Actually, I think Great switch races, so Great is no, now... No, this is StarCraft 1. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got so confused there. Alright, so it is just going to be a ZVZ then. Um, yep, Brood War ZVZ, so it should be, hopefully... Well, not hopefully, but I mean, as we saw with the last Brood War ZVZ, that was a lot longer than it should have been. <coughs> indeed, indeed. Ridiculously long, although we didn't get to see Hive Tech, unfortunately. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, so Great coming out for Air Force Ace, there he is, and Juni... One of the uh, second string players on Khan. I'm a little bit surprised that they're playing him here, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, there are out. more sets in the new format. They do have to use six unique <coughs> players, so last season true. there were five. Previous but seasons you only had to use I mean, four. The thing is, though, that Khan's lineup has proved to actually be, you know, not so shallow with the uh, yeah. rise of players like Turn and Roro last season. You know, well, I guess yeah. Roro didn't Brave perform so did well, but Turn definitely. Well. Oh yeah, Brave retired. That's right as well. They lost a player. So, things mixing up a little for them as well. Indeed, indeed. And their X player, Firebat Hero, playing against them. He never really got replaced as far as the Terran ace spot. Juni. Come on. Sorry, I'm just doing my overlay. Man, I am not doing any overlays of the results anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put the player names at least so people know who's playing. But um, anyway, looks like yeah, I stopped doing that. It's gonna be we talk about it enough, you know. Yeah, I I think it's fine. Great's gonna be the red zerg at the top right, scouting vertically, and Juni will be the green zerg at the top left, also scouting vertically. That is correct. Excuse me, on this map because the um, it's vertically symmetric or horizontally symmetric, one or the other. I hate math. Ugh. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to scout vertically on this map because that is um, where the natural the naturals are kind of pointing each other vertically. Yeah, uh, I and can in, see that. And in ZVZ, you want to always scout towards the closest natural to you, so you um, so you can like see if he's expanding or you can see any things coming out of his base and whatnot. Uh, yeah. So that's the standard scouting fun. pattern. Anyway, let's see what these players do. It looks like uh, Overlord being made for Great, and is there one for Juni as well? Looks like uh, in the bottom right we've got their previous stats saying uh, Air Force is 1 and 2 against Samsung. Indeed. Winning in round 1 and then losing to Samsung in round 2 and 3. So Samsung you. was taking the last two meetings. Yeah, the first time they met actually, Air Force Ace 3 0 them and that was a shock yep. for like all the comp fans. Just like, what? Blew my mind. Oh, I was actually, oh my god, <laughs> that was actually the, uh, that match was played on a Sunday and like, that was the last day I was in Korea, and instead of going to that match, I decided to like go to Comic World with Never GG instead. And then like I, I, I had no idea, so I had no idea what happened. Then I come back, and people were like, "Oh my God, Kong got three out. It's because Sale didn't go and support them." I was like, "Oh, I felt so bad." How unfortunate. Anyway, like, uh, I believe that was a nine, nine pool speed. No, it was like an over pool speed or something. Yeah, I can never tell. I, I think, think it was an over pool an speed. Overpool. Yeah, against a twelve. Maybe even a twelve pool speed against a twelve patch. I don't know. Yeah, it was overpool, overpool, overpool first, uh, overpool, 12 pool, something in the, of that nature. Either way, it's not going to be fast enough to punish the 12 hatch. 
So um, he's going to have to try and do something else, maybe tech up a little bit faster, go for the faster mutas and do, do some damage that way. Um, could Indeed. perhaps try and abuse his faster speed, as we saw in the Crazy Hydro versus Hydro game, uh, using amazing wing control, but we shall see. Absolutely. Ling's on the way for... Uh, la la la, that is... Ju not, not Junie, that's the other guy. Great. Great, yeah, got him. Sorry. To mix okay. up all these ergs. Now, the second Overlords are going to meet directly in the middle. Uh, this actually tells both players, first of all, that you know where their opponent's spawning location is, but also that neither of them went for a 9 pool. Because if either of them went for a 9 pool, that Overlord would be much slower. So now, having seen that, I think... Um, oh, that's a very good point. I think Junie's going to be very uh, happy about that. He's gonna Because 9 pool basically hard counters a 12 hatch. And so when he sees that second Overlord, he's like, okay, whew, I didn't get hard countered. Nice. Yeah, very good point. Uh, that's definitely something that these players will realize immediately, uh, being at the high level that they are. Uh, great moving across the map with his Zerglings. Junie uh, hatching out Lings in plenty of time, actually. Lair started for uh, Junie. Indeed. And uh, I oh. haven't yet caught if the Lair was started for uh, Great, however. I would imagine that it has been. I or uh, that it has, yeah. like, I can't believe it. I mean, it. you'd have to guess that it would. Yeah. yeah, there it is. I don't know whose is earlier, though. I mean, either way, they should be in the same vicinity of time, so neither one should die straight up to the first mutas. But it looks like speed has finished for the links Ooh. of Great here. He's going to try and poke around, but two links of Juni actually managed to sneak around. They might get in here and get a drone kill. That would be huge at this point in the game. Are they going to get in here? There's a couple of drones at the natural. No, they're going to run straight into the main base. The speed links of Great are retreating now to help defend this. I, I, he doesn't need to bring all of them back, but... Um, well, are we gonna see a drone kill here? He's not attacking anything. What is he doing? Attack a drone, man! Oh my goodness. He better Trying get at least one drone. Okay, he does get one drone. Very nice move. And that's already Indeed. worth it there. That is already yep. worth it. If those Zerglings do nothing else, it doesn't matter. Indeed. Oh, and, uh, Juni actually moving across the map with quite a large force of Zerglings getting pretty good positioning here on Grace. Uh, actually doing pretty nice damage here. Uh, not going to be able to move in farther as Great does have more reinforcing links, but definitely significant. And actually, this one speed link still in the main is not going to get another drone. Unfortunately, Man, that was uh, really close. Lairs both completing. Spire starting for both players. Uh, Junie's Spire is a good bit ahead. About 150 HP ahead. Yeah, that's very interesting because, I mean, you know, Great was the one who got the faster pool and the faster yeah. gas, so you'd think his tech would be ahead, but actually it's the other way around. It makes me wonder, did uh, Juni? No, Juni got speed as well, so I'm not really sure why his, I think Juni his got tech is that far ahead. Speed after Lair. Yeah, very interesting. Think, yeah, Juni almost definitely got the speed after Lair in that case. I mean, right now Juni just seems ahead in every aspect of the game. Great you know? also took off gas for a little bit. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a at good least point. He took one drone off gas until he started his lair, I remember. And it looks like he's going to sneak two lings around into the main base once again. He might be able to get another nice. uh, drone kill here. If he does, that'll be really nice. I mean, ZBZ, as I said in the last set that we watched, is just so low econ the whole way. And he does get a drone. I mean, look at this. There's only wow. five drones mining minerals in total, and one just died. So that is a huge blow to the economy. Juni doing a great so job with these link counterattacks. Both sides. I'm surprised we never, well, like, in these games, we haven't seen a single sunken colony we put down. I mean, not, not that it's really that weird, but just, I, I feel like in some cases it might be useful. Anyway, mutas are actually out now for Juni. Moving across the map, I wonder if they will look for overlords or go straight for the drones. Definitely both viable options. Yeah, and it looks like, oh, oh great, trying to do a sneak attack of his own. It looks like he will get two lings in here. Uh, you know, giving giving Juni a taste of his own medicine, but is he going to be able to get a drone? No, he does not. Nice defense there. And I gotta say, Juni's in a great position. You know, he went for the 12 hatch against the pool first build, and he didn't really take any damage, so that automatically puts him ahead. Um, and now he's got his mutas out faster as well, and he's got links running into the main base. This could be really bad for Great here. He's gotta send his mutas back to defend his main, but then the mutas of Juni will come into the natural, and oh, it looks like he's going, going after the spire. spire. The spire is gonna get taken down Ooh, here. The drones are coming off the line, but it's close. not gonna be enough. It's gonna die. The spire gets it's taken down. Oh, wow, that is huge. Absolutely huge, and in fact. I would say that's pretty much an un, like an unwinnable point for great. Yeah, like I, I don't actually think you can come back from that. I don't know what he should do now. Like, does he remake his spire? Does he make an evolution chamber? I mean, he's gonna re need the spire again eventually, but for the time being, uh, like, canceled the spire. 
remade it and cancelled it. I guess he's just gonna oh, ling all in and hope for the best. I don't really know. This I mean, just... that doesn't make sense, because you can't make... I mean, lings don't kill me. It's, it, it just doesn't work like that. And it looks like it is going to be an evolution chamber for spore colonies here, but I mean, yeah. that'll keep him alive for a little bit longer, but in the long run, I, that's not going to do anything for him. It's um, going to be like last game. Yeah, because it's not even like he has an expansion, whereas, you know, Junie doesn't. It's like they both have the expansion, so if he just turtles up, then Junie's like, oh, okay, I'll just make more drones than you and win the game anyway. Um, oh. Yeah, these Muta's doing serious damage. Uh, I don't... I mean, they can pretty much kill that natural hatchery. They have oh, pretty much free reign. He's going for a base trade type situation here, sending his Muta Ling into the natural of Juni. Juni moves his Mutas in, kills the one spore colony that was there, and starts killing the drones. Mm -hmm. And this was a very interesting decision here. I think he wanted to turtle up with the spores in order to force this base trade situation. Then he thought that with his spore colonies at home, he'd be safe, and then he'd have he'd be able to kill a few drones, and then the Mutas of Juni oh, would have like to he's retreat. Coming back. No drones. Oh, there is one drone left, uh, but, you know, if he does manage to take out the mutas and links, that's pretty much it. So he's going to go back, try to save as many drones as he can. Scourge moving in. Oh, let's see how good is the muta one. micro doing a very good job here, doing the patrol micro, oh, so he's wow. not taking scourge hits. And, I mean, but there's so many mutas also behind. I mean, it's 9 supply against 28 right now. It's just not even close. And looks like, ooh, takes one scourge hit, but does micro down the last couple of scourge. Nicely done. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely feel like Junie's mute account is better at this point. Obviously, also has a couple additional drones. Scourge doing a nice job of intercepting these mutas and actually looks like... Well, that one didn't go down. But, uh, yeah. Great's mutas are definitely in a lot of trouble here. I'm and he's just really attacking with the drones! <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's just attacking with the drones. He doesn't care. Yes, Juni just wants to hurry does up. not give a shit. He's like, what? Five drones? Who needs minerals, man? Let's just go kill them. Let's go kill them. <laughs> like a boss. Uh, seriously. He's like, you want to counterattack? That's fine. That's My drones are attacking funny, your base. Look at that. Look at that beast mode. Look at great. He's like, lol. Lol. GG. GG. Juni taking down it. great. And like, he can't open the door. He can't even open the door, man. <laughs> he can drone rush, but he can't open nice the door. Nice jacket, bro. Oh, he got out. Nice. I mean, he he does look pretty skinny though, so I guess he can't. He doesn't have the muscles. Figure it out door. somehow. Whew. Very well done, Jimmy. I gotta update the thread. Now, to be fair, guys, uh, ZBZ is actually Great's worst matchup. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, oh. I wasn't really expecting him to win, even though Juni's not necessarily a great player himself. But uh, well, that puts Khan up 1-0. And let us see who comes out in set number two. Oh man, are we gonna get to see Stork play SE2 today? I'm really interested in that. Why well, I mean, possibly? Because the thing is, like for Stork especially, like Stork already just plays random games. Like he plays WoW a lot. You know, he plays like <laughs> other random stuff. So like I would imagine maybe he would be, I don't know, better suited to a transition to SE2 or something. We will certainly have to find out. Effort has looked pretty nice so far among the top Brood War pros. Uh, Lizzie, however, proving to be the best so far with two impressive victories. La, 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 Lizzie. Lizzie New Bonjour. Well, I don't think we have a translator anymore. <coughs> anymore. He um, seems to indeed, be gone. I so. think he uh, left a long time ago. No, yeah, he, he did say, like, uh, during that last commercial break. He said he had to go to bed or something, so yeah. All right, yeah, no surprise. So we have. All right, no well, we have a commercial break here as well. Oh, so uh, sit tight. All right, guys. All right, guys. Should I? I'll, I'll translate the commercial for you guys. Someone, somebody asked me to translate commercials. All right, hold on. I don't know if I'm creative. Actually, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm too tired. I can't make up funny stuff right now. Smart TV. Yeah, same. Uh, I'm, I'm just not even trying. I'm lying down on the couch. Oh man, it's starting to get a, a little sliver of light. The sky is lightning here in New York. Dude, it's all bright outside already here. That's why I'm pumped up. It's 10 a.m. Nice and bright. Nice sunny morning. Actually, it's not really sunny. It's England. It's horrible weather, but you know, it's bright. It's all good. Anyway, alright. Should be sleeping, but I'm not. Sudden, ma sudden man death syndrome, it said. Do you guys see that? 
sudden man death syndrome? <laughs> That's what the ad said. I'm not watching it. My stream is though. I'm just not looking. Poke Bunny lost his passion, guys. Man, like I, a I live no stream of Poke ads. Bunny slowly losing his passion. They actually got oh. to watch as it seeped out Real. of you. Hey man, it's kind of hard to keep passion for seven hours or whatever we've been going so far. I agree. But we'll get through it. Who knows, maybe we'll have another 4-0. That's right, man. I got this. I got this. I will pick up your lost passion. It's fine. All oh, right, man, I want to watch these. I want to watch these highlights passion again. to the max. Oh, are they not going to show the Pimpus place? I don't know. They seem to randomly like. Oh decide. yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Ah, oh, sick mind. Oh, that D Matrix. That's so good. I can just watch that like ten times over. Ah, oh, so sick. <laughs> the lurker egg is my favorite. Dude, I remember I was casting that that D Matrix game, and I was just freaking out like, what? That's not even that's physically funny. possible. I, I'm still convinced that that's actually not physically possible. That something weird just happened there. Unbelievable. Who was it? Um, I think it was Piano versus some Zerg. Might have been Roro. See. I'm pretty sure it was Piano, but yeah, it was just so sick. Like I think he lost the game anyway, but it was just so sick that move. Oh, it looks <laughs> like I was right. Somebody else says Roro versus Piano. Wow. I cannot believe Congrats. I remember that correctly. Wow. Hey man, if it was that epic that you like freaked out about it, you should remember who's doing it. It's forever ingrained right. in my memory. Looks like we're getting started soon. Maybe. Hopefully. The Oh My Esports Pro League. Oh My Esports. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like some of the seats are actually empty now. I guess they got tired too. <laughs> I think oh man, what, what I'm tired. Right I think it's uh <laughs> Well no, it's only like six thirty in Korea, right? Something like that. Yeah. Uh yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it is. Nice. Anyway, here's Juni, here's the instant replay. Alright, here we go. Live translation, you guys ready? Alright, hold on, I gotta see what he's saying. Alright. You won a Z V Z against Great who is notoriously bad at ZVZ. How do you feel? Well, I'm a pretty terrible player too. But I was like, you know, great sucks at ZVZ. And I went for a 12 patch and he didn't kill me. So I just won. Because I'm pretty Gosu. Wow. Alright. See, I'm good, right? I'm good. Yeah, okay. Oh, apparently there's someone who I can actually translate. Oh, oh wow. On. A novelty, a Korean. Um, Kimin, do you want to join the Skype or do you want to just like type it in the chat? Because I can just mod you for a bit and you can just type it. Oh, you didn't do too well last season. Hold on, let me, let me mod this person. Let's mod and then you guys can all read it. Alright, I'll also read it out loud. How do you right, feel about cool. winning one this season? I couldn't play that well last season. I couldn't really show my best games. But I practiced hard to show good games. Aww. 
지금 이 자리에 있는 것 같아요. 알고 보니까 내가 진짜 게임을 하겠구나 이런 걸 터득을 하셨군요. 네, 오늘 맞아요. 경기에서 저글링 두개 들어가고 뭐 이런 식으로 상대방 타명을 손질로 흔드는 플레이가 정말 좋았는데 네. 자 그런 것들도 본인이 원하는 대로 정말 어떤 시점에 아이 경기를 내가 See the sad thing is like I'm pretty sure what Kimin's translating is all correct. But it's just like one of those boring brutal pro game interviews that where like they say the exact same thing all the time. It's like oh I practice really hard for this match. I will try harder to show good games in the future. Thanks to my fans for all their support. And like that's it. Yeah. A lot of them tend to be like that. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. We need more fire back here. Yeah, dude. Dude, man, see, if Idra had actually got a televised match, I'd be so sick. They'd be like, they'd interview him, be like, so how do you feel about this match? Fucking Zerg and Balance. It's like, <laughs> it would be so awesome, man. It would be so awesome. Yeah. Look at all those lanes going for that spire. I'm rushing the spire. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Got tired of saying what they were trying to think. Apparently they're talking about how pretty he is. I don't really see it. Really? I don't really see it, but that's no, what my I, alleged I kind of translator anti -see it. says. I am exhausted. Don't worry, if you fall asleep, I'll still be here. <laughs> That'll be awesome. It'll be like pillow talk, man. If you fall asleep, I'll just be like whispering sweet nothings about brood war in your ear. Oh god. <laughs> I'll plague you all night long, baby. <laughs> Anyways, this Juni looking pretty pleased with himself. Indeed. He's pretty happy with that. Alright, who's in the booth now? Who's in the booth? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It is? Dot dot dot. It's dot dot dot. 